Our chat, YouTube, it's time for Demir Merktide. Now, this is a deck that historically, prior to the ban list, I wasn't a big fan of. However, it did win the challenge last night. Plus, I figured what better time to play it than post Nadu and post Grief. So, we're going to give it another shot today. Of course, we got a four psychic frogs here in our two drop slot. The premier creature that's making it Merktide go into black as opposed to red because I think a lot of the red removal is way better. Black is access to Fatal Push, which is nice. And you get Bow Masters, which is also pretty good from time to time. You got your one copy of Cling the Dust and your one go for the throw. And most importantly, it's your Toxic Deluge. Now, Blue Red Merktide gets access to like Pyroclasm and whatnot. So I don't think there's a big benefit to having the Toxic Deluge here as opposed to Pyroclasm. But your biggest benefit is going to come from the frog. You also have access to a fifth copy of Counterspell in the form of Drown the Lock. I don't think Drown the Lock is amazing right now, especially against all the Eldrazi decks. So I'm probably going to sideboard it out a lot. But it's good game one against the energy decks for sure. Until they escape a flage. Uh, we got Consider and Preordain as a card selection. Three Considers, four Preordains. Consider fills the graveyard a little bit better than Preordain, but Preordain gives you a better card selection. And then for the one mana... Counters, we got one spell pierce, two spell snare, two mana counters, we got the, two, the four counter spells, and the one drown and lock, three mana counter spells, which are also freeze, the force negation, and then we got three copies of Archmage's Charm as well. Some lists are on Harbinger over Archmage's Charm. I'm curious to see how the Archmage's Charm performs. Two copies of Sangue to Stupor as our MDFCs, which pushes us up to 21 virtual lands. Then we got the one subtlety, the three Merc Tides in the back over here. Mana base wise, we got three copies of Dark Slick Shores, we got one Odawara. Couple copies of Undercity Sewers and then Fetches and Basics. And then sideboard, we got three consigned memories for the Eldrazi matchup to go with our two Break the Ice. Just trying to have any sort of semblance of a shot against Eldrazi with these. Couple copies of Stern Scolding for the Boros matchup and additional Force Indication for Ring Mirror. Or not mirrors, but ring matchups. Additional subtlety. Couple copies of Surgical Extraction for well, uh, this is probably four Gorios, but I don't know if we're gonna see a lot of Gorios nowadays. Could bring it in against the Flage deck, maybe. Another Clean the Dust, two more copies of Toxic Deluge for Boros, and then a Nile Spell Bomb. It's a run it. Uh, can I keep this? I don't. Can I keep a one line for your day in hand? I'm keeping a one line for your day in hand. I just hope to cue into like energy or something. It's my only hope. Seek it a stupor. A land's a land, I guess. Hope I get thoughts these on turn one and they take my Seek it a stupor. Could be Mardu energy. Nope, oh, it's Gravecrawler. Zambies. I'll take the one. I guess they also have Bowmaster. Damn, flared. Foot long. Thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. Come back, Dilly. Appreciate the continued support. Yeah, I got flared. That was kind of unfortunate. See how much graveyard recursion they have. That one is probably going to meet a counterspell here. I guess I could not counterspell it and then just like untap Deluge. These decks look so underpowered until you draw Archmage's Charm and you're like, bam. Instant speed quick study. I guess this quick study is already instant speed. It's just quick study. Yeah, we gotta get an early frog going here. It's not early because it's turn six, but it is a frog. I 
Goodbye, frog. You know, I actually haven't seen this go for the throat. That's good, though. That is a pretty good one. Stage supplier. If I could trigger on the stack, I'm going to fatal push it so that way they can't get back. Uh, grave crawler. Let me force this. And now I'm out of action. Merc died. Not a merc died. Not a merc died. I will top another brood in. Getting that much closer to merc died. Let's take an Archmage's Charm. We really just need something to close the game, though. Oh, Masters is not going to close the game. A lot of lands over there, though. Let's draw some. I regret everything. Oh, Frog. Frog go. Maybe I should have deluge into frog. Might have been better. There goes my graveyard. Arctide, now a bad top deck, notably. Yeah, I don't want to play around Pick Your Poison, you know? I think I discard two to this frog, and then just Toxic Deluge for three. Rip frog. Oh, they can also high roll. Uh oh. Oh, that's so bad for me. It's so bad for me. Birthing ritual, sure. Hey, Sean, thank you the tier one. I appreciate it. I didn't play around Flare. That's all me. Kind of hard to play around Flare in that spot, though. It's a Grave Crawler. Alright, let's attack. Run lock. So I can use this to kill the grave crawler, which I probably have to, and then hope they whiff for a turn. And we're kinda back. 
Maybe sort of kind of back. Okay. I don't think Goryeo is going to be very good in Ransom. I think Goryeo is like heavily relied on Grief Ephemerate. Maybe there's another build that's just like not playing the Ephemerates. It could be Emperor Bones Ulamog is the angle it takes instead. Not sure. Time will tell. Alright, I think we're good now. Maybe. Put it on top or bottom. Put it on top so I can build master with the trigger on the stack. I don't want spell pierce. Yeah, we can just play Cabal Therapist. True. This game was almost disaster, but we kind of brought it back. I'm going to cast this, and then I get the Bullmaster. I think that's that. Yep. That was a surprisingly difficult game. I feel like at any point they could have taken control back of that game and just won. Yeah, game's tough, and then you hit him with frog, and then the game's not tough anymore. How many toxic deluges do I want? Maybe two. I don't think drowning lock's that good. So go for the throw coming out because it's a little expensive. Those forces were kind of clutch, and then maybe just go down on Archmage's Charm and Merc Tide. It's probably okay. Merc Tide's very bad against the flare. Now, I kept a one lander with a preordain. I will not keep a one lander without a preordain. Let me greedy and put back a land. I'll put that on top. Butler. Maybe they won't have an answer to the frog. Frog. Frog, go. Goodbye, frog. Grab Marionette Apprentice. Take the one. I won't pay the one, but I'll take the one. I don't have an answer to that. So I gotta beat a soul trader plus a nightmare. Spell bomb is a pretty good start. And I'll just pass. If they played nightmare, I can go. Bell bomb crack in response to the trigger fatal push. I'll take the three for now. Another one. All right, so let's do this little trick. I'll hold control, target them. Push. Drew into a consider. That's not bad. 
I know they have an apprentice in hand, and that's fine if they want to resolve that. Bogart. I was thinking about pitching the consider to force, which is why I didn't just uh, consider for land drop here. It wants me to have a preordain so badly. Alright, we'll preordain for land drop. We should be able to hit it. I lied. I'm a liar. Holy schmoly. Alright. But more toxic deluges. Toxic deluge is very good against energy. Uh, sure. It's kind of annoying. I, mean, I thought about salting it. Hit the land right on time. Cancel doing cancel things. I think I'm blocking this marionette apprentice. If I can. And I get force pitching Archmage's Charm. Take out this Nightmare. Honor, it's the Marionette. Bowmaster. Yeah, let's start with the Merc Tide. I think I just pass. No, I guess I can attack, right? I think I also want to bone master this before they have spy master's vault. Another one. I'm at four. Came back on Rakdos scam. I don't know about that. When it reveals Gigantham, I will keep this against Gigantham. I think I'm good on subtle team. This is Jun. I think it's Jun. Look, fatal push. Not my push fatale. Yeah, now who's banned? Jun is good. If they have Bowmaster, I kind of think they have Bowmaster. Spinta Fatale. Is that the actual name? That's fine, I'll get bowed. I'll get bowed for one. Should have done this in the other order. I think I would like to land here.
Uh oh. I'm gonna get soloed by Bowmaster. I am half Italian for what it's worth. Maybe I just make this Bowmaster token massive and then just steal it. Um, yeah, I'll take that. They can ping me. It's fine. Frog champ. I think I'm just gonna cast Preordain, let it ping me again. Ooh, Bowmasters. The Frog. Is this the rare occurrence where I'm gonna have two orc armies? This deck needs Bowmaster. Oh, never mind. I've watched enough Mangu to know that I should be very careful saying random Italian phrases that I don't understand. A lot of them are not very nice. Bowmaster seems uh, pretty good against their current board. Um, yeah, just play frog, leave a bowmaster, just pass. Is that a dark confidant, my friend, my brother? Look, I I understand that it was banned and restricted day. But nowhere on that ban list did I see Dark Confidant is unbanned. Goodbye, Frog. Rest easy. Not a band, time to play Dark Confidant. I guess. Where's Flage? What's a Flage? I only know Dark Confidant. Yeah, I wish I could, but I can't. That's a big goif. I probably just need to eat a creature and gain life because if I draw a card, they're gonna make a bowmaster token. Let me start by surveilling. I'll figure out what we want to do here. I think I want to put that on top. Cling their dark confidant, and then we'll exile like pretty much everything else on instant or sorcery out of mine. So, frog. That land done. I forgot the subtlety. That's alright, we can eat the subtlety later. More food. There's a 4 5 goif. Small breaks happening. I was going to use this two card combo to kill the Goyf. Sink and then counterspell.
Guessing. Is Sink in a counterspell Splinter Twin? The answer might surprise you. I'm gonna lose to that. Uh, I might just have to draw a card that's cling to dust as much as it saddens me. Time to get pinged. Time to get pinged again. Shimata. Oh, Merc Tide. Name a more iconic duo than Merc Tide and Lose Nerves of Saga. You can lick my water grave. So I can't attack anymore. I did it. I found the Merc Tide. Right on time. Oh, I no longer get to attack, I don't think. This game plan is block my way out of this turn and then hope to just hit them for 8 damage and kill them. I'm dead to like Lava Spur Boots. Okay, not dead. I can't play the Merc Tide and escape the Cling. There's no way. No shot. Can't do both. It's one or the other. 8 8 Merc Tide that threatens lethal or cast cling and die to the Surza Saga. I'm at one. That was not the draw I needed. Can't attack. If I attack with both, I'm dead. If I attack with Berg Tide, I'm dead. I just have to pass. Are you gonna cast Gigantha? I need to draw a frog. Frog will win me this game because I held this land, because I can discard it and then. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, Heart Pirate. Welcome to the next X years of your life being devoted to magic. You can run, but you can never escape magic. They're attacking. They're not attacking. I was going to say, I don't think they should attack here. I'm freaking dead, man. Work so hard for your wins. Make one small mistake, you lose the game. How many Toxic Dealers do we think I want? Kind of like just the one. I don't really care for John and Locke. I don't think Merc Tide's ever had free wins. You gotta work extra, extra hard for Merc Tide. It looks fun. Reasonable anyways. They're mulliganing to five. Think Gorius could survive? No. Not really. This has changed drastically from what it is now. Nobody's ever beaten a turn two frog before. My opponent beat the turn two frog. Uh, 
I don't really want Preordain. I ended up's fine, because I can hold up Counterspell. Now I gotta clean, because I think they have Bowmaster. I think this Thought sees and I have to make a decision. Do I? I think I just need to counterspell this. I could like let it go and then try to set up a Toxic Deluge with the Urza Saga tokens, but I think I'm just taking too much damage at that point. We're gonna activate Saga and then activate Saga again. Oh, they didn't even float a mana or make another construct. I think the opponent clicked one too many times. They should just ban all the decks until they unban Fury and Grief. That'd be wonderful. Disassembled Gorios. I'm to unassemble Gorios. Ooh, frog. Frog. Is it seem for MH3 is working under the assumption that a different car is going to be unbanned? I'm gonna cling the saga so fast. Give me that saga. Whoosh. I think I'm just discarding three to kill this Ren. Toxic Deluge, Nile Spellbomb, consider. Is camera laggy? It might be. Yeah, it looks a little laggy. It's only a matter of time till it explodes. Uh, uh, which, which, which way is this going? Yeah, the camera's very laggy right now. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, I counter spell this. Let's check the temperature on it. I think I need to restart the streaming mode on it. All right, give me one sec. Another one? Did I do the trick chat? No, it didn't do anything. Okay, that's great. Uh, uh. I guess I'm just gonna give it the T. I don't know, sorry about the laggy camera. Not sure what's going on. Me and my 10,000 camera issues constantly. No matter what I do. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pass. Sub testify. Seeing if there's anything that's like potentially lagging this. Uh, it might just be an OBS issue. Yep, Ragavan's fine. Maybe if I don't move very much, then it, you can't tell it's laggy. I just gotta be very, very still. I'll just hide my mouth underneath the microphone, and then I won't move. Which 
here. No, about save the prime in the thirty months. So this is a little risky, but we're gonna try it. I could die to fatal push here. And I don't want to lose the fatal push. I feel like if they had fatal push, they probably would have cast it already. All right. Uh, why are we so laggy? The last time I was this laggy during this was because uh, the cable broke. Maybe that happened again. Oh, no, why is it so bad? Let me try unplugging this and plugging back in. Technology doesn't want to work, chat. Hi. Nope. Still very laggy. No challenges tonight. Uh, what do I want in the John matchup? I don't think I want to change much. It's probably fine. All right, my final attempt at fixing this chat. I didn't fix it at all. I give up. I think I just put this in the play on tap and maybe I just may phase this consider here. Yeah, I'll leave you over and throw it on top. I don't hate a removal spell here. I got fours for Ren and Six if they cast Ren and Six here. That I'm not a big fan of. Mm-hmm. Does Yogg make a comeback? It's going to be tough for Yogg to keep up with how fast the format is, just by nature of the deck, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Oif. I think I'm just going to cast go for the throat on this. Yeah, how's Amulet supposed to make a comeback when it never went away in the first place? And take my Bowmaster? I guess that means they're not uh, making Construct tokens at least. That's probably a good thing. I think I'm just going to cast Fatal Push. I'll leave a second copy on top too. Might actually just be my laptop getting warm. Yeah, I should get something to cool my laptop. It's probably not a bad idea. Frog go. get go. So good in ice water. I think I might pass on that. Man, I guess I could Odor War this construct token. I think just attacking is fine too. I don't know if I need to trade Oda War for an entire card. Amtraptor into Bolt. I 
I think Gore's look without grief probably non existent. But I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I think I really need this card right now. I'll take our card. One card, please. Play it pass. What have they been? Blood Crypt. Yeah, land for double count is pretty nice here. Now I'll spell bomb, that's fine. I'm not worried about Nile spell bomb. Axe with the Raptor, that's fine too. Under City Sewers, Surveil. I think I take Arch Mage's Charm. Combat. Bonk. No. Yeah, they're probably not going to resolve another spell. Yeah, they're definitely not resolving another spell. Worked hard this game. Sometimes when you cast a frog and your opponent can't kill it, it's just the freest win of all time. What if they guess Dark Confidant, though? Cool. Uh, man, I'm gonna keep it. This is my list, Pedro. This is the list that won the challenge last night. Nothing bad will happen if I keep this hand. Uh-oh, bad things are happening because I kept this hand. Sure. Ow. Ow, my face. Are these the consequences of my actions? Raug, go. Yep. Got another guy to souls. I'm taking three upstairs. If they want to attack with the guy to souls. Which I think they probably should. I mean, I can block. It's got a bin. Three cards. Protecting this frog with my life. Well played, Joey boy. Deck. Blocks. Alright. This is fine. Another guy to souls. I'm gonna push the first one. Good to know that they're on Mardu. Alright, that one's gotta go.
No, can do, cannot let you have that one. Oh, I'm out of resources, so if they kill this frog, then I'm in trouble. Blocks. Right, I'll play the land, have cling up, and then see what happens. That was the frog answer I was scared of. Let's cling. Nightmare. Thought I tapped all these. Alright, land, land. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Drew Fatal Push. And another frog. Survive, frog. Survive. My frog's not surviving. Fetch poorly. I had no opportunity to get a basic swamp because this deck doesn't play a basic swamp and I didn't want to bolt myself for a million. So, yeah. Is that even good though? I mean, I guess it's fine to make them sack this because it's like pretty much like pushing the cat. Yes, I would have pushed the Ajani if I had black mana. Correct. Ooh, Ocelot. Well, I can't take the Ocelot. Mmm. This is tough. If I take the Pred, they're just gonna launch it at mid-bombardment. If I counter this, they make a token, they ping me for one. I think I'm just drawing. They're so dead. I also have Hasty Gigantha. This is doomed. Oh, or is it doomed? I don't know if there's a chance. Maybe. Small chance. In a second bombardment. I'm still going to six though. Yeah, I don't think there's a chance. Alright, if they're gonna Thassies instead of Gigantha, maybe there is a chance. Go for the throat. Alright, so Johnny's gotta die, right? What if I go upstairs? I think I will die if I go upstairs. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm just dead on board. They can just haste you gone, I kill it, they fling it at me and then attack me and everything, they fling, 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 and I'm dead. Barnumit is a very good in this matchup. Alright, so we got Stern Scoldings and Toxic Deluge. I'll take the extra Cling the Dust as well. 
I don't know if I want force negation. I could probably go without force negation. Um, I think surgical is too narrow. Also, not sure about drown lock. It's pretty bad against flash. I'd rather have clean dust. Or something like that. I think charm's too slow. I think charm's actually decent. Like steal their uh three four guided souls or something. Rex Zafetch. There's the guided souls. Been the clean the dust, kind of free to bin it. Pass with the frog. Rax the fetch. Agony. I think I subtle do this. Maybe I pitch second frog. So I think I want the Merc Ted, I want the counter spell, third land my coming clutch. Yeah, Summers. Good news. Somewhat all around. Not quite all around. Because grief ate a bullet for no reason. And then just blue to Delta Pass. Yo, hey, what's up, Twinless Twin? I'm just playing the list that won the challenge. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Another Gata Souls. Guess I'll let that go. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, we're going to leave that one on top. I was going to say, no way you block here, right? Nightmare, mm-hmm. Do they have a creature to sack to Nightmare, or just a Nightmare? Gal with, like, 70,000 energy. My frog is dead. Long live the frog. Kind of feels a really good draw. One, two, three, four, seven, seven. Might be tough for them to beat. Ocelot Pride, which is actually an Ajani. I guess I could let that go and then counter the nightmare on the second way down. I don't know, that really matters. Nothing really matters if we draw another counter spell, I guess. Counter spell was here to bail me out. Going to game three. Now we're on the draw, it's just gonna get like a lot more difficult.
Do I have one subtle theme? Like at all. I think it's just like negative card advantage on the draw. Maybe that's the wrong way of thinking about it though. Like I need to have Fatal Push on one and then like Stirring's Golden Spell Snare on two. Fawn and Consign. I think probably Fawn over Archmage's Charm times two. Let's try that. Even the one charm, just in case we need to steal, like, something. This hand's weird. Normally, I would keep this hand. However, I think we kind of desperately need Fatal Push on turn one. Which makes me not want to keep this hand, but it's not a bad hand at the same time. I don't know. Do you think this is good enough on the draw chat? I think it's a little slow. But I can see an argument for keeping it. No push, no snare. We'll try it. I don't know. This might just be all sorts of too slow. Yeah, we just gotta draw a deluge, no problem. I think it was probably a ship also. Just close. Be good to me. Snot sneeze. Goodbye, frog. Took the Merc Tide. Does that mean they have Static Prison? Probably. Kind of don't want to run out the frog anymore. Nah, I'm running out the frog. Whatever. Say to be. Probably push. Can't really stop him from pushing the frog, though. Not for a long time. Not until I have, like, five mana for Archmage's Charm plus frog. Push. My frog. It does seem like Martyr has a better blue-black frog matchup than Boros. This push is such a good tool for them. Agony. Bowmasters. I think I'm just passing. I'll take the damage for now. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to clean that Flage out of the graveyard. Oh, another Bowmaster. That might save me. I'm gonna buy Jaggy. I'm gonna buy Jaggy. Yeah, Bowmaster being the best answer to Bowmaster has been lame forever. Unfortunately, it's just kind of how it is. Is it Jaggy time? It is Jaggy time. I think that's fine. Push, not helpful. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna look at a deck list posted in Discord. I actually get to like give you feedback on it. Instead of just kind of like looking at it and be like, oh, it's a cool list. I'm just gonna lose my bow masters here. Okay. Hunts the Jiggy. Push the homie. Hope they don't have Bowmaster. Didn't get Bowmastered. We didn't look for Counterspell. Merc Tide. And o Ottawa. Do I want both of these? I think I want both of these. Merc tied into Ottawa. One, two, three, four, five. No, I think the grief ban was. About six to eight months too late. Yeah, if Static Prison would be really sad. Uh, I'm so sad. Worked so hard for my 49% win rate. I think I'm just gonna take five. I'm actually just losing to the companion. This companion is giving me the hands. Please stop casting Gigantha, I'm gonna lose. Top deck of the century right here. Huh. Well, I mean, that keeps me alive, I guess. I can go to one. Sure. We'll go to one. Okay. I think I do have another surveil land, and I do. Excellent. Sobbers, thank you for the problem in three months. Please. Something. Anything. Please. Gosh dang it. I think I bounced it back through their hand like four times. Apparently I should have countered it when I had the opportunity, and I didn't, and I severely paid for it. Well, I got a run back at least. I have four rings and a shield, and they never hit their fourth land. Well, I'm not going to hit my second land here, so pretty much on the same path. Oh. 
Unless... Yeah, they don't have a companion, so we got this one easy. I should wait to push this. I'm getting my value. My two key value. Not even an F6. Sure. That's gonna get bowed. And I hit my other land drop too. It's like Christmas. Is all a Merc type player could ever ask for. The optimal ratio of lands to spells. I don't think I even drew a single Toxic Deluge. That entire like last match. I think I drew one. I killed two Gattisols with it. My precious Merc Tides. Are you just gonna cast the two drop? That would be uh pretty chill. Yeah, I am playing three in the sideboard and it's still like not enough. Also, I greatly apologize for the camera chat. Still do not know why it's doing that. Yeah, that's fine. Next slide on the camera. Uh, Frog. Fourth land would have been the dream. Jesus, Luke, man. I was just mind blown that I got like 100 to 0 by Gigantha for not Archmage's Charming it. I was like, oh, I should draw a 2 and then I'll find an answer eventually, right? Wrong. It was actually pretty funny. What's the shutter speed on the camera? It's not the camera that's the problem. It's supposed to be like 30 FPS, 720. I don't know what the shutter speed is, but that's not the problem. My computer's just like really warm right now. And probably needs to take a little break. If I had to guess. There'll be a million things that are wrong though. Bolt. Hi, Frog. And currently the shutter speed's like four, maybe five. It's like a really big Merc Tide. To be at 160, it's at 130 because it's uh 30 FPS when it's uh streaming through this mode right now. I don't know if this is Johnny's counter worthy. I think I just hit the push here and let the Sajani happen. They have like goblin bombardment, it might be an issue. I see no La Bamba. No La Bamba yet, anyways. One red. No red. One red. One white. No white. One black. Second red. The mobster. As long as they can't kill this Merc Tide. Because if they had two Obnixiluses, they can minus one plus the other and then go back up to nine. And I won't have them dead. This way, I do have them dead. Now let's take the Toxic Deluges, and then I think we agree to keep the two Force Negations. We're going to side out some Archmage's Charms. Let's take the Nile Spellbomb, which I didn't bring in last time. The extra Cling to Dust. Side out the 
Bell Pierce. I think I took the Drown Walkout too. Maybe I want like zero copies of Archmage's Charm. Definitely want these Stern Scoldings though. I took out the Subtlety. Apparently Subtlety is not that good. I don't know. It seems a little poor. I also gotta consider against all the Bowmasters. Maybe I should cut Preordain. Preordain is just so good at finding me Toxic Deluge though. His hand's pretty sweet if we were on the play. This is fine on the draw too. I was just like missing a fatal push. I think Solitude's next up on the chopping block, and then it would be subtlety. Actually, it should have been endurance. While Nadu was legal, endurance would have been next on the chopping block, and then subtlety and then solitude probably. I don't know. Hard to say. All of them are busted in their own way. I promise only getting to five. Abusable free spells broken, so it ain't so. It ain't so. I lied. Uh, this might be the last one magical. Not sure. Still got another match after this. I gotta figure out if I can go get a, a laptop cooler tomorrow before I start the stream. Yeah, I was kind of scrolling through Amazon a little bit. Looks like I can get a couple next day, but I'm trying to find a good one. I gotta do a little bit of research. See which one's actually good. Yeah, it took spells there, which makes sense. One big bag of water. Hmm. Here we go top top. Yeah, this is the the boys, young dingo. I got a cow. I'm gonna push uh push this is Johnny with the trigger on the stack. The boys. I think it's just considering a Merc to item. I can play Frog next turn. Nope. Push. Oh, nope. I want to cast a Merc at the item. Merc at the item. I guess I don't want to double bolt it. I'll just get rid of the cling. I also have Dial Spell Bomb. So. Getting rid of the cling's not that bad. 8 8. Oh, I thought it was a 7 7. I guess I'm just dumb. I should have left it as a 7-7 seven, seven with cleaning my graveyard. Static prison. Not static prison. Uh, yeah, I like how it says it in Spike's name. The DB in Spike's name means... Leave that on top, play frog. Attack for eight. S. Shocks. What does this mean? Plage? No, Amped Raptor. Well, don't mind if I do counter it. One mana counter two cards. Thank you for saving Pioneer. No problem. All me, baby. Wait, they're attacking with the Johnny too. What do they have? Nothing. Noted. 
I'd say prediction time. Channel my inner blue mage. I didn't draw any lands. Is that my inner blue mage? One of the hands of all time. Is this a Gigantha? Alright, so it's either Boros or it's Storm. I love Frog. Frog go. 8.30 left in the prediction. Classic. All right, frog go. Here's to hoping no static prison. Turn two frogs like the best thing you could do against energy, and then you just cross your fingers and hope they don't have static prison. I didn't cross my fingers hard enough. You making me so mad, magic gob. I think this was energy deck number four this league. I'm dead. That's the same 10 minute prediction that I keep reusing over and over. Agony. You got this dingo? I don't feel so well twitched yet. <laughs> I think I might die to these two, three, four flyers. <laughs> well, they give me my frog back at least. Alright, the frog will win me this game. Oh dear god. Yes, yeah, so I'll kill one of these. I discard both of these, it becomes a 3 4. I think I just block here. Discard force and negation and then cast cling the dust. I feel like they have another piece of one mana removal. Bolts me. Tap my already tapped mana. Nope, I need something better. Frog's like, how about another frog? You can't go wrong with more frogs. Frog loves you. I said just do this now, play around lightning bolt. I don't know how this is really playing around Lightning Bolt. But probably taking three anyways. Alright. I think this one's just straight Boros energy. I don't know if we want to board a little bit differently against straight Boros energy, but I do like the cling the dust. I think that the Skurge Skulldigs are really good. 
I don't know if I want extra subtlety. I don't think I want force negation against straight Boros. I feel like the Archmage's charms are a little slow too. Let's just board like that. Played around the bolt perfectly. Yeah, the more I thought about it, I was like, I'm not realistically going to be able to play around bolt. I'd have to discard the frog, main phase to the frog, make it a 3-4 fly, and then chump. Or not chump, but like... Just block the 3-4 flyer, and have them bounce off of each other, but then making absolutely no headway at the same time, so... No way I was going to play around that bolt, in reality. Oh, suddenly there's a lot of doubters. 300,000 on doubt. What, uh... What happened there, chat? Where'd my believers go? They're mulliganing to five. Believers rally. Believers rally. They mulled to five. They have Jakey. They can't lose. Oh, I can't even argue with that. You're so right. Hey, what just happened? What the heck? Alright, well, something just lagged and uh, it F6 through my turn, so. Uh, doubters rally, doubters! This is fine. Clients even working against me. Nothing's in my favor right now. Yeah, the client bet against me too. All right, pause champ. We're crushing them. Suddenly I have a little bit of faith too. I'll take a clean dust here. Thanks, mate. What are you congratulating me for? Oh, James. I got an auto band. It was all me, baby. Nah, if it were all me, they would have banned Ring instead of Grief. My man is a little whack, but we're doing our best. Yeah, it's time for the one key to get stuck. Bolts me. That's a statement. They made quite the statement. They said, I will lightning bolt target you. I was probably supposed to flash into Bowmasters instead of leave up ground lock. So I'm pretty sure they're not Mardu at this point. Confirmed, not Mardu. Oh, they forgot Jaggy, which is also kind of like throwing me off a little bit. Thought they were holding something up. It's not Giganta time. I didn't remember. We do also have this cling to dust. Oh, they remember the Giganta. It's so over. Nah, I don't think I do that. I think I just Bowmaster. I need this cling in case they surveil Flage or just cast Flage for that matter. 
They remember Gigantha. Scoop. All right, believers. This is our rally back. We win these. Let's trim a spell pierce, and we'll take an extra subtle to him. One more mollify from the opponent. No blood moon on three. We're chilling. They'll never win. This hand's really good. Being chilling. I kind of want to let this ocelot probably connect. I'm going to let it connect. They do nothing. I think I'm passing. I just can't afford to get Blood Moon here. If I get Blood Moon, I'm going to be devastated. So maybe I'm just supposed to play out Frog for fear of Blood Moon, but they could have like Celestial Purge, untap Blood Moon. Or any removal spell, untap Blood Moon. I don't know, I'm just not beating Blood Moon. I think that's the conclusion I've come to. So we got to represent Counterspell to the best of our abilities. Yeah, it's not a Blood Moon. I don't care about that one. All right, I think this is our time to pull ahead a little bit. Rog. Obosh Merc item. So they have Celestial Purge. All right. That's cool. Bolts the Bowmaster. That's cool too. I uh one. Another flage. Targeting my face. I like that was way worse than like cracking the fetch and then escaping it. I don't know what else they have in their hand. I would love fourth land right about now. Oh, this could be fourth land. It is. Yeah, they read me for counter, but at the same time, like, I ain't taking this counter down. And this counter's staying up for the rest of the time. It's one card on top. Lord of the Rings card, the one ring. Counter. Counter. No, I got a subtlety this flage. All right, so they exerted, and now they're so far behind. But Flage on top. Yeah, that makes sense. I 
One, two, three, four, five. You can draw your last pathetic flage. It's Jover opponent. Scoop. All the doubters cooked. Absolutely cooked. What's up, Strange Dream? Cooked. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>